Hey mama, ha. hi mama. Oh my, oh my. Oh mama, don't cry. Gonna keep you by the blanket so high. Reaching out to all the mothers in the world. Sometimes it's just the way things are to be, yeah. Thank you, Mama, for the nine months you carried me through all those pain and suffering. I could describe my mother as someone who personifies the virtuous woman. Loving, innovative, um, someone who knows to get things done with, with limited resources. Is a good woman who takes care of her family and makes sure that everything that she does is for my Strong, hardworking, loving, caring, helpful. She doesn't only care for me, but she cares for other person's children also. She's a very loving lady and helpful, like a best friend we have respect. She's wonderful to everybody. But my mom is miserable. But beyond the miserableness, she has a wonderful heart and I love her for that. She always makes me smile. I couldn't miss a day without my mother because she's always determined. She makes me feel so proud to be me. Does so much to ensure that her husband gets to work on time, that the family is fed, that her children are clothed properly. Even to this day, she still does these things. As a disciplinarian, my mother was rough. Very rough, I guess, because of the fact that she was alone, because she made certain that, you know, we walk the street and now path. Remember the moments uh, I, or those that I remember are cooking. Cooking good, especially the fried chicken and the pork, you know. Just a few months ago when she have found out that she is ill and uh, I remember that distinct moment observing her reaction, how calm, how collected, how strong she was because as a mother, even in the midst of her own agony, her priority was to ensure that her family was okay. She would tell us not to worry about her, we have things to do, we need to assess, attend to our needs and that is real love to me. Um, the day that I graduated from high school, we came back, we got the chance to come back around to see the parents and I came to her in my gown and I saw her face and I literally saw the tears rolling up in her eyes and I realized how proud she was of me and how much she loved me. The night before Jesus, when sit down, never feel too good. Mother come over to me, say a few good words, so we can do it, be smart. Strictly for the discipline that she has offered to me. Um, I've gotten a couple, a couple blows here and there from time to time um, with different instruments, but behind it, we, uh, the, the love, I felt the love yeah, um, coming out. When I was graduating, and I was walking down the aisle and I turned around and looked at my mother and she was smiling and you know cheering and clapping and as I looked at her I was like you know I was really nervous at first but she just made me feel so uplift and happy and gracious to be where I am at this moment. Christmas dinner was spectacular, a lot of food and stuff. Those were good moments and she would really put out that effort to make certain that we really enjoyed. So even though we had days when we had breadfruit and, 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 and lemonade, there were other days when the table would be nicely set. So we, I always, growing up, I used to tell people I can eat with kings and queens and I can also eat with paupers. I would be, for example, in church when I was a youngster and she would sit on the choir and if I was moving about too much, just a simple look would get me straightened up. Um, but I remember those things and I appreciate her um, for those things that she instilled in me. We were at the Rio Hotel that is in St. Anne and we were in the pool and I splashed water on her. My favorite moment with my mom is that when I was younger, we'd go to the beach and we'd have fun, we'll talk, we'll play and We'll just have fun with each other, like like a good mother and, and daughter moment. Mommy, your one son 
tell you, happy Mother's Day. I may not be in the kitchen, but I'll be eating as usual. And I have to give God thanks and continue to use you and continue to nourish you. Uh, Mom, um, I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. And I want to tell you how much I appreciate all that you have done uh, for me. Um, I may not say it on, on every occasion, but I want to wish you all the best and many years to come. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mother. <laughs> and I wish you the, all the best in life. And I want to tell you that I love you very much. And I want to tell you that uh, you're the only one, the one and only one in my life that makes me feel so happy. May God bless you. Hi, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I wish you all the best. If it wasn't for you, I would not be here. And I would not know how to make homelets and fritters. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Hi, Mom. Enjoy your day. Have a blessed Mother's Day. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Love you. Um, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Hope you have a good one. And i just like to take this time to say I love you. And thanks for what you've done for me. Hi, Mommy. Um, I won't be here, but Happy Mother's Day. I hope that God gives you everything that you deserve. And I love you for everything that you've done for me and everything that you've done for our family. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Um, I pray that today will be a wonderful day for you, that you reflect on the things that you have done for us and that today as a family we'll bond together and that you'll continue to be the strong and mighty and sacrificial woman that you are. Happy Mother's Day. All the mothers in the church, I hope this day will be a very, very special one for you all. And remember, as mothers, we should always remember to train up a child in the way he should go, so that when he's old, he will not depart from it. Remember where we are coming from, the, the, the things that our own mothers did. Some of us might not have splendid memories, but everything that happened to us, we can learn from. So best of blessings, enjoy your day, and remember, God, is the mother of all mothers. God bless you.